extremely common problem, the trust relationship between this workstation and the primary domain has failed. So there is a password that your computer maintains with Active Directory and that password has fell out of sync with the one in Active Directory. Now if you Google the problem, it tells you you can simply cure this problem by going to Active Directory Users and Computers and locating the computer object by, and then just open that up so we can see what we're doing. Right click and select Reset Account. Yes, and OK. Now if you're here, you've probably already done this and found out what well, I found out every single time I've ever done this for the past 15 years, yeah, so far that it doesn't work, which I'm just about to demonstrate. So, if we reboot this server, and attempt to log back in again with uh, some domain credentials of the local ministry. You'll see that that doesn't actually fix the problem. So, how are we going to fix the problem? Well, simply, we're, we're going to log on to the machine with some local credentials. Typically, the local administrator. Now, by default, the local administrator account will be disabled. However, if you want to enable that and recover the password and reset it, uh, I've written an article on how I do that. So I'm logging on as the local administrator, so I'm not logging on with a domain account. And what I want to do is to use a PowerShell command to reset the secure channel between this workstation and Active Directory. So essentially, reset up a new password and reset it with Active Directory. That's a computer password, not a user password. Maybe your computer maintains a password for that directory as well as you as a user. Typically, your computer password changes every 30 days. So, the PowerShell command let is reset computer machine password, then supply the computer name of a domain controller, preferably one in a local site to you although it doesn't have to be, as long as it can resolve it and get to it. And then the credential that you're going to use, I'm going to use the domain administrator, and it will prompt me for a password when I execute that command. Now, I didn't put domain name backslash administrator in, so I'm just going to do that here to make sure that it actually executes as the domain administrator, it doesn't try and do it as the local administrator. Put your domain up and password in and click OK. Now when you execute this it doesn't actually tell you that anything has been successful or it just returns you back to the prompt. But what that has done is it's reset and resynced the computer password with that directory. So I'm just going to reboot. You saw earlier flash up on the screen that we used to do this with the netdom command but netdom is not included with Windows 10 anymore. So we have to use PowerShell instead. So after we have rebooted, I'm going to attempt to log on once again with some domain credentials. And then before it said that the trust relationship had failed, hopefully this time it will let us in. Now I could have written test bench backslash administrator if I wanted to. should successfully log on. It has, and that's just logged in successfully with our domain credential and the trust relationship between this workstation and Active Directory has been restored. Now, there is another way of doing this. Um, it's, it takes a little bit longer, but essentially what we're going to do, is, as you can see, we're back at the point where we can't log on. So we're going to log on once again as a local account. Now remember if this doesn't work or your local administrator account is disabled or you don't know the password, you're going to need to recover that. It's relatively easy to do as I mentioned earlier on in the video. So open Explorers, right click the computer and go to Properties, 
um, you want to go to system about but that's be assured as that by default we are already in about so if you scroll down to the options near the bottom we want advanced system settings computer name and what we're going to do is go to change and we are going to leave domain and I'm just going to put this PC into a temporary work group called temp click OK and all being well after a few seconds you should say welcome to the temp work group and obviously you have to reboot click close and it will prompt you to reboot again going to log in once again as the local administrator and this time when I successfully get in I'm now going to rejoin this workstation to Active Directory effectively setting up a new computer password with Active Directory now as you can see as, as I put on the title earlier on this is considerably more long-winded way of doing it and if you had uh, something more substantial like a SQL server or an exchange server you probably would not want to take it out of the domain and join it again so the PowerShell solution would be preferential plus it's easier and quicker so I'm going to rejoin the domain click OK supply some domain credentials that have the rights to add machines to the domain. I'm just going to use the domain admin. And all being well, we are now successfully rejoined to the domain. Once again, it will prompt us to reboot. So, as I said, this is a little bit more time consuming, but essentially, it's 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 brute force. You're using a hedge laminate cracking not depending on the way they want to look at it fixing the same problem that we can actually fix with one line of PowerShell or we used to be able to fix with one net dom command so all being well I should now be able to log on with my domain credentials now that the trust has been restored to Active Directory and that's us logged in successfully don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell thanks very much for watching and don't forget to come and visit us at www.peternolive.com <laughs>